Hello Divine Souls. Your angel message today is honor your agreements. I keep my promises to myself and to others. I honor my agreements and it feels so good to know that I am honoring myself. Standing by your word guys. Make sure you're standing by your word. If you've promised someone something, you do it. You don't negeg, negeg, negate on it. Reneg, that's the word. Reneg, not negeg. <laughs> oh, what's going on with my words this morning? Ah, that's just me. <laughs> so we don't want to reneg on our promises. Keep your word. Keep your word because your word is usually coming from your heart. When you're telling someone that you're going to do something for them, you do it for them. Don't find excuses. In this life, we are full of excuses not to do what we are meant to do. It's time to stop making excuses and it's time to start honoring yourself and the other person that you're supposed to be honoring or others. We can actually be quite greedy in that sense sometimes. That person might be relying on you for your help and you've all of a sudden said, oh, I, I just can't do it anymore. I have this happen to me all the time. Hence, I have learned to do things for myself because I've had to my whole life. I've had to learn how to heal myself. I've had to learn to... Oh, there's so many things that I've had to learn, I can't even think off the top of my head. But just life itself, learning those lessons and not relying on others. Because that's when we actually get... That's when we get hurt the most, when we're relying on other people and they're either too busy for us or they couldn't even give us the time of day. Now, to spin that around and, and how would you feel if that was that person doing that to you? Honour your words, guys. If you're going to do something, do it. Serapis Bay, Ascension, and this is part of our Ascension. If you can't be honest with yourself or with others, how are you going to truly love or ascend to your higher self? And when I mean ascend to our higher selves, I don't mean we're going to be floating in air. It just means we're passing all those tests that we've been given and given and given over and over again. Have you learnt your lessons? Are you learning? Or are you just going to keep repeating those cycles over and over and over again? I know I don't want to keep coming back and doing this shit over and over again. I'm good. Are you good? Serapis Bay, Ascension, move into your true self. Find your authenticity, guys, not somebody else's. We don't need to copy. We just need to be ourselves. Rise above the darkness. There is light here. Don't stay in your darkness. Don't stay in the shadows. Our shadows are for learning. They're for making us strong. But we don't want to stay in the shadows. We want to shine our light. This time, in this place, right now, wherever you are, it is so important that you shine your light. Protect yourself as you do, but shine your light. Stop sinking into your cave. We retreat into our cave when we need to, but we do not stay there. For when we stay there, we are being consumed. Like anything in life, 
if we're doing too much of one thing, then it's not usually for our highest good. Even work. Do what makes your soul sing. Don't be caught in the trap. Because many of us do get caught in that trap. And the thing is, once you're caught in that trap, it's so hard to get out again. It really is. Feel that beautiful heart energy. And know that you are so much more. Remember, your words are spells. If you're telling someone that you are going to help them, help them. Stay out of the darkness, guys. The darkness is awesome. But you don't need to stay there. There's a whole big, beautiful world out there for you to see and explore and nurture. Just as she nurtures you. Surrender to the sweetness. Did I show you Serapis Bay? I'm sorry, there's Serapis Bay. He's very powerful. He's got the sun god on his head and... What else? The serpents, the snakes, the rebirthing, the shedding, the renewal. Surrender to the sweetness, Venus energy, pleasure, 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 joy. Make love to life. I have an amazing Kundalini teacher. Susan Vu, if you know her name, I'll drop the line. She has taught me how to make love to life. Even I go to teachers as well. We all learn from somewhere. I've been through so much trauma in my life that I forgot how to make love to life. To enjoy the small things. So when I started my healing journey a few years ago, my real healing journey, I have learned how to smell the roses, how to taste life, how to play, how to find pleasure in yourself and that pleasure is not always sexual pleasure can be joy can be happiness it can be the love of a child it can be anything the taste of divine food one of my besties loves mangoes and when she eats her mangoes she eats it with her whole heart she tastes every bite of it like it was magic. Can you do that with your food? Can you do that with life? Shout out to Liv. Hmm. Life is what you make it. We don't have to fake it to make it. Surrender. You are not alone. Isolation, physical connection and community now is definitely the time for community. This community spirit of ours is what makes us so strong and powerful in our unity together. The more we band together, the more we rise. Time to rise into your ascension, beautiful people. It is time. Know your worth. Know your magic. Know your power. Shine your glorious light. Feel that connection and unity. Own your values. <clears throat> What's going on? Speaking my truth. Own your values. That means me too. <laughs>